Hey guys, Bill here. Boy, in the last couple of days, a lot of you guys have been bombarding me with emails regarding this crazy thing with the creepy clowns or killer clowns or whatever you want to call it. And a lot of you guys seemed honestly scared. So I thought what we do is dig into it a little bit today and see if we can help you guys out. Now, first of all, I have to say, this is one of the craziest things I have ever seen. I think what we got going on here is a classic case of mass hysteria that's being fueled by social media. This is historical in its numbers. I mean, there are schools being closed. There are people being arrested. There's thousands of sightings. There's posts all over YouTube and Facebook and other social media that just are, are, are building this thing into a frenzy. Now, what most of you want to know, and I'm sure you can guess if you haven't written me, is are these creepy clown things real or fake? Okay? Now, um, before I can give you a one word answer, I think the best thing to do is to help you get some perspective on this thing. So when you see these reports, you know how to process them up here. Okay, so what we decided to do is uh, yesterday, um, Aya and Eric from the Chewy Piranhas Research Group and I, we kind of went through and we built a history of this craze, where this thing comes from, and I think it might surprise you. The first reports actually started in England in 2013. That's like three years ago. And it started in the town of Northampton a local filmmaker and a few of his friends cooked up this idea of the creepy clown. And one of them just dressed up as a clown and he would stand around on a corner or whatever and freak people out. While the other guys took pictures, videos, and then put it on Facebook and kind of built this little thing for themselves. Now, it only lasted for a couple of weeks because somebody realized who the clown really was and they outed him and then he confessed that he was the guy and so the whole thing kind of died out. Now, from there, it spread to France where in early 2014, gangs of teenagers sort of banded together and picked up the same idea, but now it's a little bit different. I mean, in the beginning it was just one guy, but now we have more than one guy doing this. And they're also much more aggressive. They're carrying bats. They're doing things like that because they're really trying to up the ante in terms of scaring people. But like England, it didn't last too long and it kind of died out there. Then, also in 2014, it spread to Spain, just a little bit south, right? Now in Spain, it was much more laid back wasn't as aggressive as France with the weapons and things like that because in Spain it was primarily once again people just doing things that they could paste on Facebook and show to their friends. Now you can see that with that kind of background this is not going to take long to make the hop over the Atlantic and get to America and that's exactly what happened because in the fall of 2014 this thing pops up in Chicago. Same thing, group of kids start putting on these clown costumes. Now they kind of focus their activities around a graveyard in that case, but I mean, the idea was the same. Then it pops up in California in a town called Bakersfield. But in this case, it's a really an art project of a woman who started reading about this and decided to do kind of a photographic, artistic, uh, project with her boyfriend. But when she posted those pictures, those started spreading out through social media. Now you can flash forward to today. We're coming up on Halloween and all of a sudden this thing just goes ballistic. So with this picture in mind, hopefully you can understand that what's happening here in reality is not a case of the boogeyman or ghosts from another dimension, aliens, anything like that. What we're dealing with are human beings that are dressing up as clowns and going out and scaring people for the giggle. That's all it is. So in the end, let's just call this killer clowns, creepy clowns, big fat fakes. 
Now, this does not exclude the fact that there are criminal elements out there who have exploited this situation to actually rob people. Now, it's kind of like Pokemon Go when people were, you know, out looking for Pokemon and other people would, like, get there first and then rob them when they got there, you know. So it's criminals exploiting it. But if you look at the actual numbers, you're much more likely to be involved in a car accident than you are to be robbed by a killer or a creepy clown. And I think in closing today, I want to remind you of the words of former U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who once said, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Sleep well, my friends.